Okay, so now I want to demonstrate to you uh, situations where, let's say you can't or you didn't want to pull off the trim and you just want to use your window weight pocket door. And, and that would mean you're changing your ropes out only using this door. And that's actually what it was designed to do is to allow homeowners to change out their ropes without pulling everything apart. Um, so I'm going to try to show you that. Okay, so it's a little bit of a different process. Okay, so I have the rope length, I, I, I know what it is. And if you didn't have a template, you can kind of experiment just like we did in the other videos. Um, but I have the rope length and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed it through here first. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the trim off so you can kind of see what's going on behind the scenes, but I'm gonna pretend like I can't see it. I wanna just pretend that the trim is on. And hopefully we get this to work. So what I do first is kind of start feeding the rope down. Now, if you're having troubles finding the rope, what you can do is instead just use a bunch more rope. Keep feeding it in there until you eventually find it. But I'm getting it in here. Oh, I'm cheating a little bit because I can see that it's getting stuck. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna use this as an example, like not every time is perfect. So if you can't find it, just pull it back out. Feed it through again. This time it seems hopefully to be going down a little bit better. And then okay, reached up and grabbed it. Okay, so first I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a pretzel knot up here to the part that goes into the sash. The reason we want to tie this first. So that when you put it up here, it holds the pretzel knot actually keeps the rope from falling through. So here we are. Now this time, I'm gonna have to tie it using a slightly different knot than I did earlier because the way I tie it earlier, I need the entire rope and I don't have it here because the other end is up here. So this is also an okay knot. Um, if you just pull it through. Okay, so we have it here. And then we're gonna go behind like this and over. And we're gonna pull it through like this, almost like a figure eight. And again, what we're trying to do is get the rope to lock in on itself. See, the more we tighten it, the more it tightens in on itself and that's what you want. So here again, you've got a pretty tight knot that works well. Okay. I'll try that again, just to show you. So you pull it through, you go over, you go over like this, you pull it through the original hole here, it kind of creates like a figure eight, and then you tie it in. Pull as hard as you can. Voila, pretty secure. So then what I do, I just grab this, and I feed it back through. And there we go. So those, that is how you retie the weights um either through the window weight pocket door or if you take off the trim um, if you were doing both i personally think if you're doing both the upper sash and the lower sash it's just easier to take off the trim but you can certainly in the method i've just showed you do it for both sides um, using this method because you can access both weights through this door okay so i'm gonna go to the next step after this